obviously a mixed heritage, so I've got a black mum and a white dad. Um, and growing up in the 70s, that wasn't um, as common as it is now. So, yeah, did experience racism and just maybe sometimes feeling a little bit different. I think it's, you know, unfortunately a part and parcel of the fabric of society. Some people need to be horrible to other people and if they want to do it because of their faith or the colour of their skin, then that's what they're going to do. And unfortunately, you know, we just need to keep educating people and keep working towards a society that doesn't have any racism in. And, you know, the children are our future and we really hope that we can work with them to make sure that there isn't. I think that all we can do is keep doing what we're doing to keep educating the younger generation, to keep encouraging um, people who experience racism to talk about it, to, to stand up against racism. If we, if we don't, then we're letting racism win. So we all need to stand up together, speak out about it, report it um, and don't accept it. It's something I think that uh, that black people experience uh, on a regular basis. It doesn't feel very nice, particularly when you're younger and you're new to it. It feels really horrible. Um, as you get older and you get the skills and the kind of knowledge and awareness to be able to reassure yourself and maybe educate other people. Um, but I think when you're young, it's, it's a, not a very nice thing to have to go through. I tell them to be strong and to remember that they've got a lot of people on their side as well and never to feel that they're on their own. Always to tell someone, whether that's a teacher, a parent, a friend, um, but definitely someone in authority who would be able to do something because people who are racist are on the wrong side of the law. So it's so important, of course it is. Um, young people are the next generation and the work that Show Racism the Red Card does with those young people is vital. You're teaching them everything that they need to know about understanding other cultures and nationalities, about reporting things that ha may happen that they may see, about challenging views that they may have heard from either family members or from friends at school. And, you know, it's so important to have that educational knowledge to know that racism isn't acceptable. My favourite part of, of the work that I do is coming to these events and hearing the children and working with the children and getting energy and being inspired from the work they do. And I know I speak on behalf of the PFA and I know, again, a lot of the players also really, really enjoy the work you do. So thank you. Mm -hmm.